and it encourages citations instead of arrests for nonviolent crimes. Question is, though, would voters actually vote for these justice policies? News for San Antonio's Chelsea Torres taking a deeper dive into this initiative. Pushing for stronger police reform, Act for Us says Ananda Tomas cheered on City Hall steps. I mean, we had 38,000 total when we turned in. What Tomas is calling a San Antonio Justice Charter is gaining traction to be put on the May election ballot. So we were getting almost twice the amount of signatures, you know, per day than we did during Prop B. The driving factors? I think the marijuana piece is definitely the number one um, piece, and we already knew that ahead of polling, but all of these separately and especially together were sweepingly popular. The proposed charter would be one single proposition Opposition on the May ballot. Political science expert John Taylor says voter turnout for May elections is typically low at 20%, but these policies could energize voters. It's not just marijuana that's in play here. Uh, there are issues that are social justice issues and restorative justice issues in particular that I think will resonate with some voters. Taylor says these policies have not had great traction in the past. The political climate is different now. Meanwhile, groups against low-level marijuana offenses believe if the charter is passed, it could result in more problems. Based on data, that the number of young people using more and using younger increases by 15 to 18 percent. In a statement, the San Antonio Police Officers Association says these reforms would hinder effective policing. In response to decriminalization of marijuana and abortion, quote, this is not a decision that can be implemented at a local level. And on the site and release policy, quote, expanding this policy might encourage repeat offenses for theft and vandalism. Act for SA says their goal is making these policies city law. No matter who our DA is, our police chief who's sitting on city council, we the people are speaking about what we want to see. So the city attorney tells us that current state law actually prevents enforcement of some of the provisions in that proposed charter. City clerk now has 20 business days to verify those 38,000 signatures. Reporting live, Chelsea Torres, News 4, San Antonio.